Oh, look at that. We're on a Hi there. Okay, it says Welcome back again. Pirating became so dominant that the overall progress of the world uh, once again, more now back to the multiverse. Uh -huh. This is no uh, Long John Peter. He brought treasure, I see. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Take the prisoners to the brig. I'll uh, be really interesting thing that they made no an entire there. level of this game. Uh -huh about Long John Peter because the episode this comes from uh, Peter's pirate thing doesn't really happen for very long it's only maybe seven or eight minutes dude <laughs> I love how Brian walks he looks so completely disinterested <laughs> he's just like fuck you this uh, skin that he's got this pink skin was from uh, an episode on Halloween night to where some kids take uh, Stewie's candy, some bigger kids, Brian tries to go get it back and they spray paint him pink. So, in order to get out of this cage, we have to piss off the pirates. If you're Stewie right here, you'll pick up the spoon instead of this thing. And then they took all our weapons, so we gotta fight them off this way and we have to shave, uh, save Seamus, who's right in the back, you can see him. You have to fight all these pirates and get the key to his cage. But again, <laughs> that segment, the episode was called Long John Peter, but uh, in terms of the whole pirate thing, it was only really seven or eight minutes of that episode. Uh, basically, uh, Brian gets hurt and has to go to the vet, and Peter steals a parrot from the vet and takes it home. And then uh, Quagmire... Joe and Cleveland say that he looks like a pirate. Die if we don't. And that he should get himself a pirate name and a peg leg and a hook hand. And he should have sex with that crossing guard even though she looked young and it turns out she was only 12. If you two can get me out of here, I mean an eye patch. He should get an eye patch. That's what it is. Okay, so. Thanks, fellas. I'm gonna go that over there you just saw, that was uh, the, uh, the side mission. It's the only side mission. We have to collect all the pieces of eight. And while Seamus is freeing all the other uh, captives, we have to fight off more guys. There's a, uh, in the middle, you can pick up, it says, uh, pick up pirate weapon. And it's like a small sword, and you can use that to fight with, but it really doesn't work any better than this does. I know pirates. Maybe in a treasure chest somewhere. And really hard to fight these guys off without being hit. Here's the next one. There are nine pieces of eight. <laughs> There's one uh, by Consuela. This is great. And one right here. Next to that guy, who there's no point in saving him. Alright, more guys. This is where we get our weapons back. We fight off all these guys and we have to go and of course they keep everything they steal in a treasure chest. Alright, there's another, uh, one of the pieces of eight is underneath these boxes, but you can't jump up and get the money if you smash all the, uh, the boxes first. So we get our weapons. And I'm going to use Brian's stun gun again. This really awesome weapon that just wipes out everybody. Yeah, these, those guys are a little harder to beat down. Of course, all these pirates. After they've had their fill of bread and wine, they will talk of other times they had their fill of bread and wine. And come on, disappear. There we go. And four or nine and go back up. Oh, wrong way. This way. This is what we got the key for. More guys to fight, more people to rescue. They did a segment on that show that was really highly praised where a pirate and his uh or pirate Peter and his pirate buddies 
pull up alongside a British man in his car, <laughs> and of course he's carrying crates of, uh, of sugar cane, tobacco, and spices. <laughs> and that big battle scene, that was highly praised by critics and blah blah blah, like anybody gives a shit about critics. Alright, these guys keep dropping while Seamus is doing his thing. But, in that segment, uh, Peter's pirate, Peter's parrot, see, <laughs> tongue twisters, man. <laughs> Hold on, I throw, yeah, I throw a Molotov cocktail and let these guys burn up while you blast them. So they don't go down easy. But anyway, Peter's parrot gets injured in that battle and he has to take it to the vet where it eventually dies. Well, it didn't die right away. First it convulsed a lot and then fell off the operating table. Then it flopped around a little on the floor. Then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him in a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. Then the doctor tried to pick him up, but then he got angry because some of it got on his thumb, so he threw him against the wall and that's where he died. So the next piece of eight is in with Adam West. There's another one over by the evil monkey. And we're out of here. There is the, I guess, the Megless monster. Hey, over here! Yep, Let's something a little out. fishy here. Alright, so this ship is going down. We have to get out of here. Yeah, pirates! Bunch of guys on a boat. Alright, but before we get off of here, there's another piece of eight under here. Come on. There we go. Run up top, more money, and a store portal if you need it, which we don't. Lots of money, lots of money. Hey, I missed a pirate. Missed a guy. And there's another piece of eight over here. It's not under that one. It's under the, uh, the three over in the corner. And come on, you gotta wait for it to disappear. All right, that's eight of nine. Now we got to get off this ship and here. Behold the Armada! I guess it's the precursor to the boss battle. The boss battle is obviously Long John Peter. Oh, and there is another side mission, and it happens right here. Actually, it's more than just the pieces of eight. And I'll show you that when we when it comes up. It's not that tough. All right, bunch of guys on a boat. Start blasting them. This, when you first start this, the very first time you ever do this, this is probably really going to get on your nerves. So not only do you have to sink the ships, but then they send, uh, in smaller boats, hordes of pirates to come on your ship. And I got them that time, but that doesn't always happen. And they come from all sides. Oh, here we go, here we go, here it is. Feed the sharks. There's <laughs> some guys with sharks circling them. You knock them off and feed the sharks. There's three of those. And they're all right here while pirates are shooting at you. Alright, so we got some more guys on a boat coming at us. Well, we want to put the ship down. Oh, there's the next one. There's the next one. Got it. Two or three, only one more cannonball. All right, one more down. Let's see if I can get these guys in the boat. Get them? Nope, missed. And hold on, hold on, there it is. Yeah. All right. Very cool. This isn't too bad once you get the hang of it, but at at first, this will drive you completely crazy. Cannonballs! You have to make sure you keep repairing these cannons, too. Alright, I saw some more guys in a boat. Don't want to mess with them. Did I get them? Nah, I can't tell. Too much smoke. Right, let's put this ship down. Nice. And... 
Well, no, I still see the boat, but there's the last uh, buoy. Alright, very cool. And these guys are too close, I'm not going to get them here. Yeah, yeah, they're too close. They're going to come up here. And another ship behind us. Sending more guys. Yeah, pirates! Bunch of guys on a boat. <laughs> oh, and notice I've got the uh, the evil Stewie skin. Which we've already taken out evil Stewie. There we go. We get a Rupert to start shooting them real quick. these cannons or we can't shoot them. Your time has come, mateys. Get one more in there and get these guys. This ray gun is still great. Alright, so before I forget to, the last piece of aid is right here. It's on the ship. Okay, there you go. <laughs> before I forget to do that. Alright. So we got more guys coming at us on that lifeboat, but we want to put these ships down. We got to get rid of these ships. And repair the cannon again. Don't judge someone by the color of his beard. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Is it going down? Come, that was only twice. Come on, come on, dying over here. Cannonballs everywhere. I think we're about to be boarded again. Prepare to be boarded. Yeah, there we go. Put them down. Alright, obviously another one behind us. I can tell by the cannonballs dropping on my head. Prepare to be boarded by totally straight pirates. <laughs> Prepare to be boarded by totally straight pirates. <laughs> and once again, come on, let's do this. This uh, I think this is the last one. I could be wrong, but I think so. <laughs> Piracy, it's awesome. There we go. All right. And yeah, that was the end, so we don't have to worry about any more people attacking us inside. Now the boss battle. Guess who the boss battle is? Give you one guess. Oh, that would suck. There he comes. Aha! There be no escape from Long John Peter. Unless you run. I can't run too good. Oh, there's nowhere to run, we're on a ship. Alright, it's time to face Long John Peter. Win, you get your little device thingy back. Lose and Okay, there he is. I don't know. I should probably be Brian for this. There we go. We'll use this stun gun, and then he does this thing like the Incredible Hulk where he belly flops a bunch of times. And... where'd he go? There we go. Alright. And a bunch more guys bored. I'll sick Joe on him. Fire at will. I hate that guy. Which shooting him from down here does absolutely no good. Oh, this is the rush I've been looking for. Hey Chris, guess what me and Bonnie just did? We had sex! Yes, we had what Joe calls sex. Yeah, I also be no one karate. And wait for it, here it comes. Yeah, he's tweaked. Oh, you do this three times, I believe. Oh, I just... Oh, I threw the giant chicken accidentally. That does absolutely no good. And I'm running my mouth and got hit by a cannonball. Thank you. <laughs> well, the giant chicken was a total waste. We get to hear the song while I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of that. There will only be one more. Oh, well, here the giant chicken will come in. There we go. It wasn't a waste after all. Way worse. Get it again! 
Yeah, all right, that's all good. Again, but I said it pirate like. But again, this level isn't really that difficult, I don't think. Once you get the hang of it, and once you get that uh, shooting cannons at the boat thing down, it really isn't that tough. All the pieces of eight aren't really that hard to find if you take the time to look. You might have a little difficulty uh, shooting those buoys while uh, people are boarding the ship and trying to attack it. You might have some trouble there. Uh, cannonball! Belly flop! Alright, I'm almost dead. But then again, so is he. <laughs> and there we go. There he is. Take one. Oh! <laughs> I almost died, but there you go. Give us back the remote. Never. <laughs> yeah. Here's your classic Family Guy right here. Which this isn't a joke from the show. They threw this in strictly for this level. That's pretty clever. Don't tell any of me mateys of this. They all think I'd be good at pirating. All right, Fry. At least we know Bertram won't be attacking us from the sea. Now let's get out of here. Hey, uh, you guys mind if I tag along with you? Look, we appreciate your help and everything, but you can't come with us. Uh, wait! What? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, this is the end of this level. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. See, I got a new costume for death, which is only available in multiplayer. And new costume for Peter, Peter, which is only in multiplayer. Still tongue-twisted on these P-words. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much.